All right, this is our hundredth episode, and what does that mean? It means we've done a lot of videos in the past six months. Here's another. In an era where the music industry often glorifies opulence and luxury, a young artist from New Zealand found her muse in a simple photograph of a baseball player. This episode delves into the song Royals, a hit that not only marked the debut of singer-songwriter Lord, but also changed the status quo of pop music's portrayal of fame and wealth. Ella Yelich O'Connor, known professionally as Lord, embarked on her musical journey at a remarkably young age. Discovered at just 12 years old, Lord possessed a profound ability to articulate her thoughts and observations through music. It was during her teenage years in July of 2012 that the concept for royals materialized. The inspiration struck Lord in an unlikely form when she discovered a 1976 photograph from a National Geographic magazine depicting Kansas City Royals baseball player George Brett. This unassuming image of George Brett signing baseballs while wearing his team's uniform became the catalyst for her hit song almost four decades later. Paired with producer Joel Little, Lord set out to create something very distinct. Within the span of a week at Golden Age Studios in Auckland, New Zealand, Royals came to life. Royals is a minimalist song that combines art pop and electropop with influences of hip hop, R&B, and indie pop. That's a lot of pop that lyrically expresses a stark disapproval of the grandiose life depicted by some artists positioning themselves as modern day royalty. It was apparent that this deviation from the norm struck a chord globally, leading to the track's international success where it soared to the top of the charts in Canada, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, and the United States, where it remained at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for nine consecutive weeks. The song's acclaim was further solidified with awards for Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance at the 2014 Grammy Awards. Released on June 3rd of 2013, the song Royals was not just any hit. It was a statement on the disconnect between the fantasies portrayed in music and the realities of the listener. Now let's listen ourselves to a few highlights. Here's Royals performed by Lord. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. Now that's what we call a sonic gem. 